Hey, thanks for joining me for a look at our pipeline. So we have two ways to look at contacts in Hilo. The first is the contact list view, and the second is this one you see here, our pipeline view. The pipeline is your sales funnel, a visual view of where all your contacts are in the sales process. The other function of the pipeline page is that the position your contacts are in will dictate which cues they end up in on your goal tracker page. And let me explain that a bit. Anyone in the not contacted column means that these are people you have never spoken to about your business. These contacts will be added to your new reach outs queue on the goal tracker page when you have the system randomly choose contacts for you to reach out to by clicking the Hilo My Week button on the goal tracker page. Everyone in the four columns to the right are people you have spoken to, but they're in various other stages of the sales process. Contacts in these columns will be added to your follow-ups queue on the Goal Tracker page when you click Hilo My Week. And the last two columns are people who either told you yes or no. Contacts moved to these positions won't be added to either queue on the Goal Tracker page when you click the Hilo My Week button. To set up your pipeline for the first time, don't get too granular when you're just starting out. Here are the three important steps to setting up your pipeline. First, anyone you haven't spoken to about your business should stay in the not contacted pipeline position. And that's the default pop pipeline position anyway when you add a new contact. Two, move any contacts that you have spoken to about your business, so contacts that are currently in your funnel, to the contacted position. Don't concern yourself with the other follow-up columns in the beginning. It'll take up too much of your time to set up and it's not that important at this stage. All you should be concerned with is making sure contacts are added to the correct cues in the goal tracker. So differentiating between not contacted and contacted is enough. Number three, move anyone you don't want to show up in either queue, like other consultants from your team or other teams, to the not right now or closed signed positions. You can easily move contacts to other positions on the pipeline by clicking and dragging them to the appropriate columns. You can search for any contact by typing all or part of their name in this field and clicking search. And you can also easily update a contact's information by clicking their name. When you click, up, when you click on their name, that'll bring up a modal window where you can make your edits right here from the pipeline page and you can click update contact when you're done or click view contact to see their contact card and full history. If you click search, with nothing typed in the search field, that'll bring you back to see your full list of contacts in the pipeline. And you can filter your contacts by various fields by dropping down this menu under the gray bar. Now lastly, we have these little R's and F's next to the contacts names. What these do is allow you to easily add contacts to your new reach outs and follow ups lists manually. The R's are only shown next to contacts in the not contacted column because R stands for new reach out. Clicking an R will add that contact to your new reach outs queue on the goal tracker. F is for follow up. Clicking the F next to a contact's name will add them to your follow ups queue on the goal tracker. And before I go, I just want to point out again that any contact comments or questions you have about Hilo can be submitted through our feedback link, which you can find in the My Account menu up here in the right corner of the header bar. Well, that does it for, the, for our pipeline tutorial. I hope you found it helpful, and please be sure to check out the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.